The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. This is the best time of the year. I mean, no thermal underwear, no cleaning off the car at minus 40, and I mean, getting more than four hours of daylight so you don't feel like a vampire. You get t-shirts, shorts, bikinis, socks, and sandals just not together, and I'm all in for this. But what I really love to do during this season is sample what Northern Ontario has to offer. I'm Chris Mask, and I love food. I mean, cooking's my passion. It's in my blood. And you might ask, what does Northern Ontario have to offer exactly? These transforming these little dirt nuggets into crispy golden works of art and it's my job to try them all. All right, so here we are, Fire Flame Jerk House. Number one, I'm flattered you named it Jerk House after me. You really didn't have to. Well, anytime. But Nikki, this is honestly one of the true gems that Sudbury has to offer. Oh, in terms that's of very food. kind. How long have you been around? About a year and a half now, right? About a year and a half. We opened up uh, October of uh, last year. Well, the year before, so a year and a half. And how have you found it so far? Um, so far, so good. Sudbury's been very good to us we've been getting a lot of support which we appreciate started off a little rough but the word is starting to spread we're building momentum and you had celebrity status here as well yes mr danny glover came in which was amazing and i can see the pictures up around here that's too, so. right we had to showcase him for sure and that was definitely an honor to cook for him he came in for the whole week and i uh, was calling and asked ordering so that was very very nice you were like his little personal That's chef. That's right. It's so exciting. How's your husband like that? That was funny. <laughs> he was in Toronto and he couldn't get up here. And he was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm missing it. Well, we'll just leave the Danny Glover talk right. there. Though. That's probably for the better. <laughs> now, you do offer authentic, and I mean authentic jerk here, so much so that you get the pimento wood brought in from the States. That's right. So and you make it on your smoker out back? That's right. So what we do is in the summer, we try to do the jerk chicken outside on the smoker. We get the pimento wood from the US, like you said, um, and it's shipped in and we smoke the meat and it gives it that real authentic Jamaican style of jerk. And just about everything in here is scratch made. That's correct, we do. We make everything from scratch, from the curry goat, oxtail, curry chicken. The only thing that we don't make from scratch are our beef patties and we get them made especially in Toronto. But I see a pina colada cheesecake over there. And that's definitely homemade. And your carrot cake, you were raving about that too. Yes, carrot cake is homemade. All our baking is done homemade. All right, so why don't we get into the kitchen then and let's see the magic happen here. Absolutely. Awesome. Fire Flame Jerk House, we're now behind the scenes. What are you making for us, Nikki? Um, I'm going to make you a traditional chicken roti. You know what you're doing when you're making roti? <laughs> you're Jamaican me happy. Yes, I am. Even though uh, rotis are not, it's not a Jamaican dish. It's a Caribbean dish, but it's not a Jamaican dish. Rotis are like, it's more like a Trinidadian. They, they're they very big on the rotis. So what are some of the other things you have going? Well, I'll give you a tour, a visual tour, if you'd like. But what I'm putting in now is just the chicken, the curry chicken that we make in the mornings. And you can see how that's falling apart even just from being yeah, put so in with a spoon. Yeah, it's very tender. Um, the mixture that you saw me put in was uh, potatoes and chickpeas with um, sweet peppers. We do onions in there, garlic. And that's basically a chicken roti. But you're forgetting one really important component. The hot sauce. Your hot sauce. <laughs> Now this is scratch made in-house. This is an in-house homemade hot sauce. We make it with scotch bonnet peppers, a little bit of garlic, um, sweet peppers, and uh, it's delicious. Goes good on everything. What's the largest amount a human can consume of that before they just spontaneously combust? Uh, you know what though? This container, you'd probably make maybe two uses out of this, three. Depends on how hot. If you can handle it, one is like, killer. <laughs> I like hot and I'll be honest, it, I get two uses of it. Yeah, yeah, I think one is a little bit too much, but some people have asked me to pour the entire thing in the roti, so. 
Now these recipes come from your mother and I guess ultimately your grandmother. Yes, yeah. So there is a lot of down home that you put into this. That's right. And the thing about Caribbean food is that it takes such a long time to cook. So it's kind of like such a prideful thing, you know? You, you put a lot of time and effort into the flavors and putting the flavors together. Like oxtail, for instance, takes about four to five hours to cook, right? So this is our oxtail here, which is a beef. Very tender as well. And like I said, it takes about four hours to cook it down and render all the mussels. This is our curried goat. Which is fantastic, by the way. If you want an endorsement for your curried goat, I will <laughs> gladly put my face on the side of this building, <laughs> kissing a goat if that's what oh, it's going to take because like, it is delicious. I you on that. <laughs> and here is our jerk chicken. And that's more for somebody who wants spice. If you really like spice in the incorporated in your food, the jerk chicken is probably the best to go. But like I said, the homemade hot sauce is great on everything. Um, it's served up with rice. Oh, it's curry chicken. With our homemade rice and peas. It's like a memory game, what's under what? That's right, <laughs> that's right. And this is our homemade rice and peas. And that's what most of the meals are served with. And it's very simple and it's very traditional, but again, it's it's the love. And like you say, you know, it's a family event a lot of times when it comes to cultural cooking because it takes that time. That's right. And that's something that society, unfortunately, seems to be getting away from with the convenience yes, of fast food. That's right? right. And that's what we thought, too. We were like, um, because we've had people who have come in and asked, you know, well, are you guys thinking about doing like a jerk chicken uh, poutine, let's just say. And we're like, oh, we just kind of want to keep it as authentic to the Caribbean as possible because it, it's there's pride that people take into cooking when things take a little longer to cook and you are able to develop flavors like I said you know it makes the food feel like home and so you when you come here we want you to feel like you're home and you do have little specials from time to time as well we were talking about the uh, salt fish fritters that that's you do that's right we do salt fish fritters we usually do on Thursdays and Fridays um, we do we do a freestyle Friday now where um, we just do any anything we can think of uh, for that day and it's featured for the whole day so for instance last week we did like uh, cow foot which is a traditional jamaican dish very much so yeah uh before that we've done like a seafood um curry shrimp uh platter so it's it's worked out now a lot of people hear jamaican food and i mean even because you have fire and flame they're thinking this is going to be over the top spicy and hot yeah, and we thought about that too, but it's not. The only thing that's really spicy, like I said, is the jerk chicken. And that's the spice incorporated. And that's just because that's how jerk is made. Absolutely. But everything else is mild to no spice at all. Because a spicy cheesecake, that would kind of be a little different, <laughs> but it's something I would try. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So hands down then, I know you spend your day around this food. What is your favorite thing that you make? I would say that my favorite thing that I make is jerk chicken. Again, a like labor it. of love. Yeah. And, and I your like, smoker. I love the smoker. I love the smoker. The flavor that comes from there is unreal. Excellent. Well, let's get into this roti and uh, give this a shot firsthand. Okay, fire flame, jerk house, this is your roti. Now, Nikki, it's a chicken roti. There are a few things in this world that truly make me happy. Mm -hmm. Kisses from puppies, <laughs> catching a really big fish. I guess spending time with family. But roti, this is, oh, you have no idea how excited I am. Now, let's make sure that I don't kill myself with this. So I'll go for about a half of your scotch bonnet. Yes, you can even smell it. The peppers oh, yeah, are ready. But it's, look, peppers right on that. Like, you just grind them up with a little bit of vinegar. We do vinegar, we do sweet peppers in there, give it a little flavor. So it's not just heat, but there is actual flavor behind it. So again, nice filling, your potatoes and everything. See now normally I just pick this up with my hands and eat it, but I'm trying to be a little classier here and, and avoid, avoid a lot of strange eyes on me for this. I'm too happy to speak. <laughs> this is an awesome job. Good, thank you. I can see why your new employee used to frequent here and now wants to work here. Yes. Because when yeah. you're not around, she'll just 
you just eat this all day. <laughs> yes, that should, the roti is pretty popular here. We this sell is, a lot of rotis. This is fantastic. If you want an authentic Caribbean cuisine here in Sudbury, this is exactly where you need to be because I'm telling you, this is as real as it gets. Nikki, fan. Oh, thank you very much, and thank you for coming. Can I get a hug? Mom? Yes, for sure. <laughs> Don't tell your husband or, <laughs> or Donald Glover. <laughs> you got to try this place. I'm telling you, this is aces all around the board. When it comes to Northern Ontario, you have to love the fact that this is, you know, one of nature's greatest supermarkets. And out here at Jocko Point, Matt, you've got a winning thing going on here. This is right from Lake Nipissing, this pickerel. So what inspired you to open up a fish stand here at Jocko Point? Well, I've been a fisherman since I was 13 years old. And I just loved, I loved buying fish. I loved cooking fish and eating fish. So it's almost like the whole forest grump and the shrimp thing, right? Uh, that's right. <laughs> fish gumbo, fish sticks, yeah. fish fillets. That's right. Now, you get your fish from uh, fishermen right here on the reserve, right? Yes, I do. Do you also give back to the community? I donate to a multiple amount of charities on the reservation, yes. What has to be one of the biggest challenges for you running a, a fish stand on the side of the highway? Uh, not not really sure staffing just trying to attract people to come off the road yeah trying to keep trying to keep everything uh happy and running that's right that's a good way to put so. it eh? <laughs> so you've got a pretty good sized menu out here are these all recipes that you've developed yourself or have you turned to people and family to help you along with those we've 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 added different stuff every year and taken stuff off as people wanted them and didn't want them I understand you're trying to work on fish balls currently. <laughs> Not an anatomical part of the fish, but we, just an actual physical. We are. We've been, I've been throwing out the bones for years, as you can see. And we're just trying to reuse yeah, the, it's like the, awful stuff, cooking, right? the, the stuff that we're throwing out. And it's, it's actually working so far, but until people start to buy it and try it, it's hard to convince somebody to eat fish bones. Well, it is, but I mean, at the end of the day, you think about all the stuff that gets processed, right? That's I right. mean, stuff where you don't know where it's coming from. You know this is Lake Nipissing. That's right. It's real fish, as you can see by the fillet. It's not processed. And if you're putting out a quality product, I think people will buy it when they when they see it, once they get used to it, right? Hopefully. I, I, I like it, so usually when I like something, other people like it too. Well, I hope so, considering that you're the owner here. <laughs> yeah, right? that's right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back into your kitchen, and uh, it's Tamara? Tamara. Tamara. I don't want to screw that name up because she <laughs> might throw my head into a deep fryer, and we don't want that. Yeah. She's going to be doing all the cooking for us. All right. Thanks for your time, Matt. Let's go back into the kitchen and check this out. Okay, so Jocko Point Fish and Chips. We're back here in the kitchen, and this isn't some great transformation here for, for Matt. We're now actually with T, as you like to be called. Thank you, yeah. Because that's the easiest way to refer to you, as you say. Yep. So give me the story about how you got involved with this because this is i found this interesting yeah. it, it i my husband and i moved up here 10 years ago and i he said uh, we're going to move north i'm going to buy a company and you can retire i used to be on the road with the restaurant business opening closing restaurants managing them so you know 24 hours a day you're tired so i said you have me at a weekend let's do it this was the store they had a chip truck when i came here they had just bought it it was running for maybe you know maybe a half a season so I went to the store and I was, you know, I got talking to the manager there and I said, well, let me go look at it. Let me, let me see what you can do productivity wise because it's small and maybe I can help you. So by the time I left, I had said, okay, well, I can work a shift or two um, to help out. And 10 years later, seven days a week, 15 hours a day, I'm here. And I love it. And you know what? On a Friday night in the trip truck, we would be like lined up two and a half hours for pickle and chips. Well, one thing you said to me, too, that I absolutely agree with is that this isn't one of those instantaneous show up, get your food nope. 
food takes time yep. and you'll tell people flat out you're going to have to wait. Yep, we, we have a thing here and, and that's actually why people find it really astounding when you say, like there might be seven people in line. It's, it's early, right? And I'll say, okay, 15 minutes. And they're like, 15 minutes for what? And we're like, oh, it's a 15 minute wait time. That's how long it will take before you get your food. And they're like, who does that? Who, who at this kind of a you know, place tells you that? You know, so I said, and that's what we do. I, I run it like I ran my restaurants, like, you know, in the kitchens and stuff. Um, you know, we'd have 50 chits up. I can say, okay, you know what? It's gonna be 45 minutes. And I stick to that. I stick to that. Plus we also have what's, you know, people coming here and our takeout is probably 45 to 50%. So we're also maintaining, you know, okay, I'm gonna be, I've got 10 at six o'clock. I got five at 5.30. So you know what, but we say, we, we put a lot of love into it. That's all I can say. A lot of love, a lot of care in what we do. We don't just whip it out the window. Here and there's a lot to love, too, because, I mean, it's a pretty big menu. You've got yeah. the Forty Creek yeah. Burger yeah. and, of course, you know, fish and chips. That's your staple. Yeah. So what are you whipping up for us today here? So right now I'm doing our lemon pepper pickerel balls. So this is the experimental this is, thing. This is a thing that we just did because, you know what, there's so much waste in everything that you do. And, like, you're sitting there and you're throwing stuff out. So we thought, well, why not? Let's try to use what we can, right? So we made it into like a ground meat, basically, and we started the patties and the balls. And that's what we're doing right now. So we add a little bit, you know, and again, experimental, but so far so good. Yeah, because you know? when you're handling delicate balls like that, oh, you oh. really oh, let me have to you. know what after, you're doing. After handling 400 balls in one night, I'm telling you, it's amazing. And it's your own scratch-made batter that yep. you're using for the fish. This this, we, we won't get into what this experimental fish ball thing is right now, <laughs> but for the fish patty, yep. you're using this secret this, blend that yeah. you won't even tell me anything nope. about. No, nope. no, nope. it's Just a secret. That. I've had people offer to pay us, offer to like, you know, give me every story that you can imagine. Like, and from as far me. away as BC. I, do, I have this a fella that, tech, he messages me on Facebook on our page and saying, you know, I know you probably can't, but it'd be really nice if you could send this out because we don't have anything like that, never taste anything like that. You know what, it's our thing. It's our it's our thing and we love it. And you know what, we've never changed it. That's what I think I people find amazing. I have a, a girl that just came here. She hasn't been here for eight years. And she goes, the fish tastes exactly like I remember. Why would you change it if it's working, I right? Don't. And like Matt was yeah. saying, it's basically tip to tail. So they're using, you're using as much of yep. the fish yep. that you're getting out of Nipissing yep. as possible for this. Absolutely. So it's waste not, want not. Yeah. And you know what? That's the way it should be with so much. I mean, you know, everybody works hard for their money. And it all works out. The people that fish for us, what we do, he has to pay employees, things like that. It all, it all works out. Everybody works hard for the buck. So, you know, you want to do that. Sorry, I just got to check this here. And I mean, there's a whole lot of goodness going on in this fryer behind oh, yeah. us here too. Yeah. You know what? We, yeah, we, I've had, we do also do pickerel bites as well. Pickerel bites, yeah. do you use the cheeks as well? That's one thing I didn't ask yeah. Matt about. We, we like to call it the pickerel, that's why we named it pickerel bites. So people, uh, you know, some people say cheeks, yeah. well, you know, whatever. I said, well, you know, we, they have them, you know, yeah. so. Calling and they are the, they're the filet mignon of, oh, of it pickerel. Is. It Absolutely. is the filet mignon, it's, it's, it's. It, it melts in your mouth. It's One of the crazy. dishes I did for Master Chef Canada actually yeah. involved uh, pickerel cheeks, and oh. people thought I was crazy when I said yeah. that. Um, you know, it's like sweetbreads. You oh. call it sweetbreads, people yeah. will eat it. You yep. tell people what exactly. it really is. Exactly. Not so much. And right? that's what it's exactly. That's what it is. Your yeah. Caesar salad. People come back for that constantly. Yeah. You make your yep. scratch made yep. aioli yep. to go with oh, this. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we have pretty much everything. Like our garden salads and everything are made fresh every day. Our coleslaw is made from scratch. We make it. Well, that we go through so much. We have to make it three times a day. And we do only make it in short portions, so therefore, you know, it's fresh all the time. Everything we want to give out there when they're eating it, it's fresh. It's crunchy. It's fresh, you know. And that's what you want, T. It's, oh, listen, I, you know what? I, I'm still overwhelmed to this day of all the amazing customers we have. Like, they keep coming back year after year, and they're more new, and they tell. And we don't advertise. So it's all word of mouth. Everything is word of mouth, so. Think Let's get into this, then, the and try this, and see what it. you got I'm going on. All right, so Jocko Point Fish and Chips Tea. We've got a couple different things here, and the nice thing is, is that we're not gonna gum this up with any nope. lettuce, tomato, nope, or nope, buns. No, 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 no. What are the three things we got going yeah. on here? So we have the lemon pepper pickerel balls. 
uh, just done in an egg wash and a nice flour with a little, little bit of uh, homemade lemon aioli. These are the fish uh, burgers, um, and it's more or less the same, the same, but they, they just not as much lemon in there, like the lemon pepper, not as Plus strong. Plus you've used actually the different dredge yep, for these. This is actually, yeah, the, the dredge that dredge. we use is our secret dredge, our seasoning. And then this little guy on the side here is um, done with our seasoning, and it's our pickerel. Yeah, so fillet. it's like basically pickerel three ways that we yep, got going on here. Three ways, exactly. So again, lovely color here. And you know what's funny this. about this? This is okay. So this is a little chilled, and you're gonna love it just as much. Oh, I love anything fish-wise. You got a really nice crunch on there. Oh. There's a great flavor, just enough yeah. salt on this. Like, yeah, that's a lovely cook on this. Yeah, and I really like that seasoning. Isn't that good? Yeah. And uh, when you talk about guessing the spices. I have a couple things going yeah. through my head right now. I can't tell you, you know that. You can try. I might go, mm. Can I get a hug for every one I get right? Okay, done. Salt? Uh, I'll give it a half one. A half one? <laughs> Paprika? <laughs> okay, I'll give you one. But that's it. I'll stop there so yeah. I don't get yeah. into it too much. There is quite a few, actually. There's probably about So these seven, are the eight. experimental fish these balls. Are, yep, these are our fish balls. So I mean, like, right off the top there, you've got a nice, nice crust crunch. that develops on yeah. that, which is great. How long do you think till you hit your perfection on this? Well, we just we just started this uh, last week, actually. Mm. So you can see when you talk about using basically yep. nose to tail cooking with the yep. fish, you, there's no bones nope. in this. No, nope. no. Because it's all the processing. Yeah. Yep. And people will sit there and say, "Well, I would never eat anything with bones in it, right?" Well, again, what do you think you're getting when you buy this yeah. process? And you know, and the funny thing is, so. is it, it, most people will they they don't believe if you sit there and go, "Okay, like I, obviously nothing's 100 percent, but we almost we can we don't want to guarantee it, but we can almost say you're not going to find any bones here because we don't like the bones, no. and if we don't like the bones, you're not going to get the bones, you know. So number one. Really good job with your balls. Thank you. Thank you. Love the balls. And your husband would be would be proud would, of would he, Yeah, he would. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're going to go to the patty here. And again, much like the, the fish and the balls, you got a really good crisp on it. So, I mean, that's that's obviously goes to, to what you got your temperature set at. Yeah. Lovely. You can see nice big chunks of pickerel in this. There's oh, no yeah. filler in here. No. No, nothing. This no is, filler whatsoever. This is as real as you get. Yeah. No filler. Mmm. With a spice blend on your conventional pickerel, putting that on this patty, yeah. that's a winner. Yeah, that's really, yeah, yeah, that's been, actually, as I said, we, at the birthday party, we put that in there. Nice. That's a big old high Thank five. Thank you. Jocko Hugs Point and Fish and Chips. high fives. Oh, I'll give you a hug too, don't tell your husband. <laughs> Jocko Point Fish and Chips, you gotta come out here and try this, including the experimental fish balls. <laughs> as an Italian, I know meatballs, oh. and I've been called one or two. Last name, Galati. Meatballs. Galati. Oh, oh. oh, well, I'm Galati, I met you. <laughs>